Before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to 2K for flying me out to play 2K25 early. Baby gang, what's good with y'all, bro? I am finally back home from not only community day, but from my honeymoon, man. I recently just got married and we went to Mexico, so I had to go handle my business with my wife, you feel me? But we back in action. We got 2K25 coming out real soon, but before we even get into like what the game could possibly be, Let's talk about Community Day. Community Day was hosted at the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in Massachusetts. When I tell y'all it was a beautiful scenery, there I met a lot of creators that I watched growing up and a lot of creators I watch now. I met Zach TTG, Zach 2K, Click, QJB, Trey Soul, Mo Buckets, Wavy Mello, EJ, Uncle Demi, and way more. Once we all got in there, we went into the meeting room to talk about embargo dates and things of that nature. And then after that, we went upstairs to go play the game early. Now, before we talk about that gameplay, let's talk about this hoop session that went down. Now, if you saw Zach 2K and Wavy Mello's vlogs on Community Day, then you would know that we played 4v4 at basketball in the Hall of Fame. And here's my highlights right here. Like yeah, God, God damn. down below what you guys think my build name is and not only did 2k hook me up with this hoodie and that jersey back there they gave me my own cover they gave me my own my team card they gave me these affiliation medallions or whatever these are but my favorite is definitely the cover like come on bro everybody dreamed of being on a 2k cover growing up but all right i'm done yapping let's get down to the nitty gritty of 2K25, well, the version I was able to play because we know the game that's coming out in a few days is gonna be a whole different version. I got my notes right here, so don't mind me. I'm just reading off everything because it's easier that way. So question number one, does Anthony Edwards have a new face skin? Here's a picture comparison right here. We have Anthony Edwards in 2K24, we have him in real life, and we have him in 2K25. So y'all can judge based off of this graphic right here. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like this face skin? Do you dislike it? How do you feel about it? In my personal opinion, I'm not a fan of it, but at the end of the day, it's on Anthony Edwards to let 2K scan him into the game. I have no clue what beef is going on between them two right now, but that's none of my business. Next, let's talk about playing out online and everything that's going on with it right now. So at Community Day on the demo version of 2K25, they only had quick play, so I wasn't really able to check much other than jumpers and teams. So first off, there is no new classic teams on play now. I know, I know. Go ahead, boo them. Boo them. Boo! Boo! Now I talked to people from 2K personally about this and they said that there's always a reason why players are in one mode and not in another. But it's just like, how are players in the My Era's mode but they're not in play now? Like, why can't we have them on play now? Like, we can still play online in the Era's mode, so why not just copy that team and move it over? You know how Patrick was in that one episode of SpongeBob? Just save the city and boost it over here. and another interesting fact i found out about playing online is they don't have a lead producer bro it's like a collective effort but i still don't know like who runs this because we know my team has a lead producer the city has a lead producer wnba has a lead producer like what are y'all doing why can't we get somebody specifically for play now oh i know why it's because it doesn't make the money but we're gonna talk about that later and how 2k could make money off the mode moving on i asked them about all-star team up they had no answer for me. Now, I want you guys to look at these tweets on screen. I tweeted out about all-star team up and no new classic teams, and Ronnie actually saw my tweet and responded to it, and he said this. Let me get the first answer, stand by. He's talking about the classic teams. I actually talked about the latter one at Community Day a lot, but guess those interviews haven't hit yet, so I'll tweet instead. This my team 3v3 is sort of all-star team up and prove you think about it, more to come when those interviews roll out. <sighs> That is not all-star team up, Ronnie. I go on to respond to say, Ronnie, I appreciate you. Would love to hoop with newer teams if possible because, bro, we've been waiting five years for new teams. It's been five years since we got a new team. Look at this LD tweet right here. Five whole years 
since we got new teams and playing online. I go on to say, as for the second part, I definitely understand how the 3v3 is like it, but we want the original 5v5 back where we all get in a private locker room to use the play now players. Because that way we all have access to all the players, whereas my team, you have to unlock them, which is cool, but a lot of people don't have the time, like some creators. Let me know. Was I spitting facts or was I not spitting facts? And now that I look back at this tweet, my team 3v3 is more like co-op, but with like a park now. This is not all-star team up, Ronnie. No, no, no. I'm on to you, brother. I understand video game companies are a business and they're focused on money, but bro, you got all these people making hella builds, buying hella my team packs. Y'all making y'all bread from that. Whereas us playing out players, we're still a small community. So you took out what was most fun to us and then you just leave us to just to try the other things and we're not gonna spend our money on that. At least most people I know, they're not gonna spend any money on that. And I know y'all hate to hear that as a business, but at the end of the day, that's just how some people are. A lot of people aren't fortunate enough like these creators and can spend hella bread on these bills and packs. It just don't work that way. I respect them trying to find a balance, but the balance is starting to lean towards more my team and my career like it has been the past few years. But I got to say, they've been trying because play now is it's a new mode this year, kind of, but still no new teams or nothing. So the grind ain't really going to hit like that. The only good thing about the mode is really like the top 100. You get the logo and all that, but not having new teams is definitely a bummer, bro. And no all-star team up, man on oh man. And that reminds me, I don't even know if player control is in the game. We're going to find out soon. Wednesday's almost here, but player control, people? I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's looking scary, dog, because you got to think about it. Playing out online is ranked now. So, like, you can't use the same team twice, and you just got to rank up in the rankings. If there's an unranked mode, not sure of that yet, but if there is one, people will like that because I know people that have favorite teams, they just want to continue using that same team over and over. But it's like, if this is ranked and you can't use the same team twice, I don't know how you incorporate player control in that because if somebody uses a player once and they not use that player again, it's it's a lot going on right now. So we just got to wait and see. Now let's go back to my comment about how 2K could make money off of play now online. So you guys know how my career and my team, they're intertwined and they have the battle pass and you get all these rewards and you can buy levels and skip through tiers or whatever they could do the same thing for play now online bro now us as a community most of us i should say i'll say about 80 percent of us we like the grind we like to unlock the teams we like to move up the tiers and things of that nature but for the people that don't have the time and just play the game casually 2k should just let them buy the teams on a battle pass the only problem with that is nobody wants to buy the same old teams we've been using for the past five years bro if y'all added new teams and had people pay for that I guarantee you, including me, I would buy it because it would be new gameplay and people want to see how them teams run nowadays. You feel me? Like if they added the 2018 Rockets, that would be a huge W, especially with the way James Harden moves in 2K25. That would be crazy gameplay. The main team that everybody been waiting for is the 2010 Lakers. We want another Kobe Bryant. Y'all glaze MJ. MJ has six teams in the game. Six. In my opinion, it should be cut down to three. But y'all can't give us Kobe? Y'all have him in the arrows mode, but y'all can't have him in play now? I know y'all been looking for Andrew Bonham. That excuse is, is weared out, bro. It's worn out. Like, we're done with that. We don't need Andrew Bonham. I'm going to put Gasol at the five anyway. We could use some more teams, 2K. So if y'all want to make some more money, add new teams and make people buy it. Now, of course, you can still grind for the teams because if you play the game a lot, you want to earn those teams. But if people want to pay for the teams, they can do it that way too. And then every season, Drop new teams. Isn't it that hard? Come on. You got all these players in different modes, but you can't get them to play now? All right, I'm done ranting about that. Let's move on to the jump shots, bro. So a lot of people have been asking, is Jamal Murray's jump shot fixed? If you didn't see on Twitter and YouTube already, yes, they fixed his jump shot finally. Other players' jump shots that they fixed, they fixed Cam Thomas, Tyrese Maxey, Nas Reed. And there's plenty more players after that. If you guys want to know if somebody has a different jump shot, let me know down in the comments below because I'm not about to have every single player jump shot popping up on his joint. We also have SGA and Curry with different jump shots now. As you guys can see, SGA's jumper is way slower now compared to 2K24. And then Curry still has a quick release, but as you guys know, like in real life, Curry uses more of his upper body than his lower body. So that's a W to see. And this player right here, I'm upset that they patched him, bro. Austin Reeves, his leaner middies have been slowed down drastically. Bro, he had one of the best leaners in the game and they slowed him down OD. I understand it, but at the end of the day, it's like, 
more 2K and video game. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all though. I really don't like doing videos like this because I just yapping, yapping, yapping. I just be talking too much. I rather like just head into the official game and just go team by team and show y'all everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. But one last thing, the main thing about 2K25 when I played it is it was sluggish, bro. If they can up the game speed to how 24 was, but a little bit more than that, I think 25 will be a great year, no cap. Oh, hold on, bro, before I even go, I forgot to mention Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has a new jumper and he is unguardable it's to the point where i have a whole montage of me just using him in 25 so here you go right here But that's all I got from community today, bro. It was great vibes. I met some great people, got to play the game early, got the hoop in the Basketball Hall of Fame. I couldn't ask for much more, man. I'm forever grateful for the opportunity. Shout out to 2K for inviting me out to community day. I already know what comes with this, bro. People think, oh, Vlad Wade's about to switch up. Now he's locked in with 2K. He's just gonna talk good about the game, blah, blah. There's a line between criticizing the game and wanting it to be better and just straight up harassing the developers and people that work with 2K. Like y'all cursing and calling Ronnie and Mike Wang, all these different types of names ain't gonna change bro. They just gonna block you and keep him pushing, bro. You gotta remember, these guys are like in their 40s, bro. They don't have time for all this petty shit y'all be doing on like Twitter and Instagram and all that. My advice is if you want to criticize a game, criticize it in a professional way. That's it. And no, that does not mean you glazing 2K. That just means you being mature, bro. But again, if you guys want to know anything about 25, just make sure you comment it down below. I'm gonna try my best to respond to every single person. And also, make sure you guys check out Tonio's channel. I played him in play now, so I know y'all been waiting for that. Go check that out right now. And lastly, thank you guys so much for 80,000 subscribers. Who would have thought Play Now would be growing like this, though? We're 20K away from the goal. 20K away, you feel me? So if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you might as well do it right now, gang. Other than that, Wavy Gang, I love y'all. Make sure you guys like this video so people can know more about Play Now online. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, stay wavy, stay blessed. Wavy out.